What's up guys? It's my 1990 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. I thought I'd do uh, some quick video. I'm going to start it up for you guys. And my bike's on the roof, so I'm going to go biking soon here. But uh, I've owned it for a couple weeks now, and I think I did a video that I haven't put up yet um, of when I first got it, I think. So I'll put, make sure to put that up too so you guys can see that and maybe follow my story of my Jeep. I'm just sort of... I have some paper towels and stuff over there. I've been cleaning it. So, yeah, when I got it, it was super dirty inside and out. And uh, inside had a lot of just stuff everywhere from the previous owner, um, which was okay. I cleaned it all up. Yeah, everything's there. It has the original uh, fog lamps with covers, and that all works well. So I really enjoy that. Those work nice. Um, there's just a couple, you know, nicks and scratches everywhere, but it's not too bad. It's uh, 1990, so what do you expect? But, you know, paint chips here and there. Quite a few on the hood. There was a lot of uh, sap on the hood when I got it, too, which is really hard to get out. But the wood is, uh, the wood paneling is in pretty good condition. The power mirrors, door locks, windows, all that works. Got the antenna there. My tires are brand new. Literally brand new. Those are all seasons, and then I also have a pair of studded uh, snow tires with black rims, so that's kind of cool. It's all in pretty good shape. It is 4x4. Four four. It's got the, the nice original Jeep hubs. Again, tires are in great condition. It's a little bit dirty, it's been sitting out in the rain. The uh, exhaust system needs to be replaced. I'm going to get that replaced within the next few uh, days or so. And basically the whole exhaust system all the way up to the front needs to be uh, replaced. So it'll be a little bit pricey, but it'll be worth it. On the back, Grand Wagoneer. Uh, the headliner is falling down too a little bit, so just got to get that fixed. It's got the 5.9 liter uh, AMC 360 V8 in it. But all the doors and everything works. The rear uh, window and and uh, tailgate works well. The rear window slides up and down. I also have to get a, a back seat since it didn't come with a back seat. Replace the uh, original speakers that uh, didn't work with some new kicker audio speakers but all this works all works the windows work power mirrors it's pretty easy to get the uh, radio working again I just put a fuse in there but uh, power power seats work I don't know it's kinda hard to see kinda hard to show but it works horn works too gotta have the key in left-handed so it's got 173,000 original miles headlights work like I said got the rear window there and the instrument cluster the uh, brightness of it and then the rear defrogger um, that doesn't really or the rear defrost rather sorry that uh, doesn't really work I don't think so gotta fix that before winter but I have a ways Original deck, I'm just using a, uh, like a set adapter. Has the original owner's manual, which means a lot to me, because it's cool just to read about it. Does have AC, there's your four wheel drive switch. Ashtray, which was used. Used quite a bit, actually. Does have the, uh, I fixed the lamps up here too, but it has the, um, trip computer, which is nice. So I'll go ahead and start it up. Horn works, like I said. Go ahead and start it up. Literally starts right up. 
I just drove it up the driveway, so it's basically a cold start. Seats are in good condition. Headliner's just a little saggy every now and then, but that's just little stuff that'll get to eventually. Go ahead and pop the hood. Hopefully it'll pop. It kind of has some trouble popping or getting it open. So it was just really tricky to get the uh, hood open. The latch over here seems to uh, stick and not want to open, so I had to put the uh, camera down and use two hands, but running good. Something that I really like is it has a front and rear uh, reservoir for the windshield wiper fluid. Just put a uh, new battery in. That helps it start up, which is nice. Starts right up now. Here's kind of a view from the, uh, from the passenger side. Seats are in really good condition. And, uh, Got the all all weather floor mats in there, so I don't wreck my carpeting. It is a six seater as well. Um, if you have the rear seat in, which, like I said, I don't have, so I gotta get that. I'll go ahead and uh, show the fog lamps. I'll turn on the headlights and show you guys the fog lamps. So to turn on the headlights, there's a switch there. And then the fog lamps are there. Oh, what the heck, I'll put on the uh, hazards too. They're uh, pretty decent headlights for how old it is. Go ahead and turn all that off. Well, there you guys go. That's a quick startup video and I'll just show it off. I don't think it's that quick. Quick of a video, but still wanted to show it to you guys and hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. I know I really like this little car and it's just a fun car to drive and it does everything that I need so with just a little more work it'll be uh it'll be an outstanding vehicle. So thanks for watching. If you guys like what you see let me know and I'll try and keep posting some about my car every now and then. So, Like I said again, if you like what you see, subscribe and give me some feedback down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys.